What's up, everybody? Um, one of the biggest things that that happens when you put yourself out there on social media um, is you're going to get trolls. You're going to get people that's that's going to hit the comment section and you know make it seem like they're super smart. And then you know you get all this stuff up here that we have here, the different crazy comments that people say. And me, I just have enough time to uh, educate or correct the buffoonery that happens in the comment section of YouTube videos or, you know, social media content. I have the time to do it. They pick the right person when they comment on our videos. If they say something that's enlightening, educational, or if they want to learn, I'm all for that. But when you come and make statements that, like, you have an understanding, you know what's going on, and you totally off base, then I don't have a problem with it. It just gives me an opportunity to educate. Um, I'm all for some if I say something or Alex say something incorrect in a video and somebody correct correct us in the comment section, I'm 100% for that because I care more about people having the right information than just any information. And it's a community. I mean, we can have, you know, uh 40 and slips, we can uh say something that, you know, maybe could be taken out of context and I'm all for people uh, pointing those things out and make us better. Like we try to make each other better and that's what we're doing. Uh, but one thing I'm not going for is things like this gentleman's comment here. I can't even pronounce his name, but he was, he picked the right day to say the crazy things and it was a good day for me to reply. Uh, but so today we're going to talk about this one thing that he said where, and, and I don't blame his ignorance on it. Uh, because something that I hear all the time is when people think about investing in real estate or investing period, they think that it's about when do you get your money back or how fast do you get your money back? Um, that's an aspect of it, but they don't understand. So like in real estate, this is where I hear it most in real estate. Now, Alex, let me know if you heard this too. If you'd be like, oh, well, the house, we'll just use small numbers. Uh, the house I'm buying costs a hundred thousand. So how long will it take you to get your hundred thousand dollars back? Yeah. Well, the purpose of investing is my hundred thousand dollars is already the house, so I already have it with me right now. The purpose of buying rental properties or real estate investing is to generate money off of that, on top of having the value of the house there. So it's. The down payment, if you put in down payment on there, you want to see what your return of how much money you actually put in the house. So let's say you put 20000 down. You want the cash flow to give you a return on the initial money that you put you put down in the property. So if it's 5, 10, 15 percent to get that initial down payment, you know, it's you know maybe five, six years to get that initial down payment back to redeploy it. If that's what you're looking for. But to get one hundred thousand dollars back, that's not the point, because the value itself is in the house. The house will either stay the same, might drop down a little bit, but over time, it will appreciate over time and go up. And then there's different avenues and strategies that you can do to extract that capital out. But that is one of the big things that people don't understand with real estate investing. The only thing they're looking at, they're looking at the flip. That's why you, you know, flipping houses and things is so, it's such a big deal because people are like, oh, I can buy this and I can flip and I can get my money back once I do this. And that's the only thing people understand. And they don't understand how cash flow work and don't know the difference between cash flow and 100 percent return. Like you see in this comment here, he believes cash flow is the amount of time it take you to get 100 percent of your money back. No, cash flow is how much money you receive on a monthly basis after all expenses is paid. But Alex, I'll let you go from there and go with your experiences. Yeah. This was an interesting one to see. And uh, I meant to reply to this comment too, but I'm glad you replied to it because uh, it was, for one, it was entertaining to see it go back and forth. But, um, you know, you had more uh, input that, that you could have put than I could have. Um, but the back and forth commentary was just, it was it was crazy. It was, it was it was everything that we talk about in our videos. And you could tell that he doesn't watch our videos because of how his comments were and how he was responding. 
you know, um, especially like how he brought up, um, you know, oh, I talked to my real estate attorney. One thing we always talk about on here is we don't care about titles. We don't care if you're a CEO of a real estate company. Like what what are your assets and what do you do in real estate? You personally. And, you know, especially like you said, you know. I especially don't care about how long it takes to get my money back. You know, I'm one where, yeah, I invest as well in the property. And like you said, the property is there. It, that's the money that you put in, you know, there it's now converted from cash to equity in an asset. And then well, all I want from that asset is the cash flow is going to produce for me on a monthly basis. And then the appreciation is nice to see grow over time too, because the appreciation is something that accelerates at a pace that you wouldn't see in a savings account or something like that. But the cat, you know, the money you put in, it, it's not like it's gone. It's not like, you know, you thinking that you would buy an asset and then you lose money, you're mistaking it for being a liability and it's not a liability, it's an asset. And so I've heard that one too. And that one, that that's one that annoys me too, because it just shows, it just immediately shows me that the person's mentality on investing is incorrect. It's, it's wrong. It's, you know, it, because all they care about is getting the cash when we both know cash is trash, but cash flow is king. Like we always talk about that, you know? So yeah, hearing, hearing people talk about, you know, Oh, how long is it going to take you to get your money back? You know, you got to get your money back. It's just for what, I mean, to buy more assets. I mean, you want me to get my money back so I can spend it on bull crap? Like I'm not interested in, the same things that you know people like that are interested in and uh the same people the mm -hmm, same right. people sorry sorry but um the same people that ask that question that ask the question of when do i get my money back are the same people now think about this are the same people that say when do you get to enjoy your money right because the only thing they're thinking about the only thing they're thinking about is how fast can I go on a vacation? How fast can I splurge? How fast can I go and press uh, the rest of my broke friends and show them that I'm doing something? That's what the real question they're asking. How fast is it that I can floss on somebody and be like, oh yeah, look at me. That's the only thing they care about. They don't care about the process. They don't care about what goes in it. Just like this gentleman here, he was he was talking, talking crazy, talk, saying that uh, when he said, he talked to his real estate attorney and he said, sellers are not buying down rates. Sellers are not yeah. giving credits. Yeah. And then I just explained to him a couple of deals that we did. And then he got upset. Then he comes back with another number and said, oh, yeah, the real estate attorney uh, in 2022, only 20% of the or 23% or whatever number he said, 23% of the homes that sold uh it was it was something it was something crazy that sold below list price or whatever or got seller concessions and then so i looked it up of course i'm always on question information it was six million homes sold so 20 percent of that is 1.2 million so yeah it's possible to every house that you buy is below uh ask price it's possible that you can get concessions especially in this high interest rate environment to get concessions to buy down rates or to pay closing costs. It's very likely to happen. I mean, Alex, you just did you just did a deal. You did a deal in 2022, because we're in 2023. You did a deal in 2022 where you got seller's concession. Exactly. You yeah. you did a deal, you did a deal in 2023 where you got below asking price. Yeah. I got below asking on both of them. Yeah. And the first one was below yeah. asking plus seller concessions. Yeah, exactly. Right. So and and that's the thing and and that's and that's how and then I knew that the guy didn't invest because he said oh when you buy investment properties you got to put between twelve and fifteen percent it ain't been twelve or fifteen percent unless you're doing an FHA you know owner house hack that you put in less than twenty percent down on the investment property yeah so that's why I asked him well, when was the last time you invested and then and then I just went on I, I just went on a uh, I went on the terror after that. I started pulling up uh, Investopedia definitions and all that to educate him. But he thought that uh, he could just say anything and it was going to go unchecked. And that is a, a big thing. And, and people could say, oh, well, 
Well, don't don't uh, engage with those people. Yeah, I could have avoided it, but the thing is, with us trying to grow our channel, what if it was other people that was watching the channel and then saw the same thing and didn't see a reply, some reply to it, like, oh, he must have got him. They didn't have a reply. So I reply, and I always put at the end of my replies, thanks for giving me this opportunity to educate you. Yeah. So to let people know that, hey, we really know what we're talking about. This is not just a game that we just play on the weekend just to say, oh, we're YouTubers. Right. This is what we actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I know haters go hate. People go chirp and talk all the time, but they got the right one with me because I got all day. With all that being said, uh, guys, like the video, hit the like button, uh, leave a comment down below. <laughs> As this video is about comments, uh, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.